Hey there, it's Steve from B&H Photo, and we're at NAB in 2015. I'm with Chuck Westfall from Canon, and we're talking quickly about the 50 to 1000 Cine Servo Zoom Lens. Right, that's our newest uh, line in the uh, Cine Servo. We actually have two now. We have the 17 to 120 that we introduced last year, and the 50 to 1000, which is now showing up this year. But 50 to 1000, I would expect it to be a heck of a lot larger than it actually is. Well, there's two things in our favor here. One is the fact that uh, it's a variable aperture lens. It goes from uh, 5.0 to 8.9. And the other is that the fact that those apertures are relatively moderate. So that helps to keep the size of the lens down in terms of diameter. And it has an extender. It has a 1.5 extender built in, so it actually goes up to 1,500 millimeter true focal length. And of course, you put that on a Super 35, and you're actually getting what I would consider to be like 1.5 times compared to a full frame DSLR. So I actually get 75 to 1500 out of this. Right, exactly. My head's swimming, coming from the old days where 100 millimeter zoom was long. So in Super 35. Yeah. And it's available in two different kinds of mounts. PL and EF, and one of the important things there is the fact that it is a servo lens. So you do have motors for your focus zoom and iris. When you have uh, a, a PL mount, you can actually then connect it back in to the camera and actually run those uh, uh, from the camera itself on the PL side. When you have it on the EF side, now you need an external battery to do those operations. But one of the things that is really kind of new that we wanted to talk about is the fact that with the C300 Mark II that we just announced, uh -huh. we can support the dual pixel CMOS autofocus with this lens. So that really gives now a whole different dimension of autofocus with the super That's long telephoto. That's a nice combination. So, and it's so cine style or EMG style with the servos. Yeah, exactly. You have your choice depending on what is more appropriate for your operation. And uh, we anticipate that because of the, the, the length of this lens and the fact that it is a Super 35, which is much bigger than the typical broadcast camera, that it's going to be used mostly in terms of like nature documentaries. Right. Um, you know, to some degree in terms of uh, sports, but there's also potential for other different areas that, uh, you know, more like a surveillance type of thing if you needed it. Well, in a drama film. Yeah, it could be. Chuck, thanks for spending the time with us and showing us this new 50 to 1000 zoom lens. I'm Steve, thanks for watching.